My guest is the author of the number one selling book, Don't Make the Black Kids Angry, The Hoax of Black Victimization and Those Who Enable It. He also wrote a story about how a black man was unjustly convicted of trying to kill his white girlfriend. It resulted in the man's release from state prison and was featured on Court TV, NPR, L.A. Times, and other outlets. Also, he's the author of White Girl Bleed a Lot, The Return of Racial Violence to America and How the Media Ignore It. Please welcome back to the program, Colin Flaherty. Happy to be on with my favorite Twitter follow. <laughs> Colin, how are you? Good, good. Colin, here's the part where you tell me, Larry, I almost didn't make it because so many people have been calling me because I've done so much research on uh, hate crimes against Asian Americans who commit them. Uh, I wasn't, I would, I barely was able to to have time for you, Larry, because my phone has been ringing off the hook. Please tell me that's the that's the case, Colin. Yeah, well, you know that's true, Larry. I'm the most popular girl <laughs> at, the, at the dance. My dance card's always full. But on this topic, the topic of black violence, how black people target Asian people, how they've been doing it for years, how I've been documenting it, you know, it's funny. Some Asian people don't even want to acknowledge it. Colin, I, I have in my baby brown libertarian fingers the uh, New York Times article that I've just now quoted from, uh, and I'm looking in vain for the race of the assailant. This is a very long article. Uh, I see the race of the uh, uh, Asian Americans, uh, and they often describe that and uh, what countries they came from and so forth, but not a word about the race of the perps. Pourquoi? You know, it's, it's just amazing, isn't it? I mean, it's even gotten to the presidential level where he talks about hate crimes against Asians concocting this image of uh, bands of white people roaming the country attacking Asian people. But what we've seen all over the country is just the opposite. For example, in San Francisco, there was a headline in the paper, uh, San Francisco's Dirty Little Secret, Black on Asian Violence. Tons and tons of stories about black on Asian violence in San Francisco, Oakland, Sacramento, Philly, New York, Baltimore, all over the country. It's been happening for a long time. My, my, my own favorite, I wrote about this and Don't Make the Black Kids black Angry, was 5,000 Asian refugees came to, from Nepal, came to the United States, landed in Rochester, New York, and from the minute those 5,000 Asian refugees took up residence in, in the ghetto of Rochester, they were tormented, harassed, scorned, beaten, murdered, robbed. This went on for five years. So finally, the police chief said, well, Asian immigrants are just going to have to learn how to defend themselves when they come here. It's astonishing. Wow. Uh, I'm looking at the New York Times article, quote, In April, a man doused a 39-year-old woman with a caustic chemical as she took out the trash in front of her home in Brooklyn, badly burning her face, hands, and neck. In July, two men lit an 89-year-old woman on fire near her Brooklyn home, after which hundreds of New Yorkers marched in protest. Here's the next sentence, Colin. Neither was classified as a hate crime, end of quote. You know, I, I, don't, like, I don't like the classification hate crime either because it vastly, vastly, vastly understates the amount of racial violence, the amount of racial violence in this country. To have a hate crime, you have to sprinkle some words and leave some evidence. But here's, but even, even more powerful than that are the patterns. When we see who is attacking Asian people, we know who is attacking Asian people in the subways of New York, on the streets of Brooklyn. All these stories you talk about, Almost all of them have videos, and every time you mention it, it's like, yeah, I could see the two black guys setting that Asian person on fire, the 89-year-old Asian woman on fire, all on video. So it's not like we're sitting here, you know, guessing or anything, but the pattern is overwhelming. Colin, my guest is Colin Ferguson, uh, Colin Faraday, excuse me. Uh, Don't Make the Black Kids Angry is one of his books, The Hoax of Black Victimization and Those Who Enable It. Also, he wrote White Girl Bleed a Lot, The Return to Racial Violence to America and How the Media Ignore It. Colin, give us some numbers. How many uh, hate crimes against Asians this year versus last year? And talk to me about the racial uh, demographics of the perps. You know, I don't, I don't pay attention to the hate crime because that's essentially now a political crime. Mm-hmm. And so uh, black people can attack a white person, and we'll have Dale King and the guy from Boston University, the professor, what's his name, Idris Kenda or something like that. And they'll have a discussion on CBS Morning News acknowledging that black people cannot be guilty of hate crimes. 
So, the, you know, so there's so much violence going on in this country that fits a pattern of racial abuse that just doesn't meet under the, the rubric of hate crimes. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know, whatever the number is, it's ridiculously low, which is why I hesitate to even repeat it to give this ridiculous number any credibility. Well, the reason I ask, Colin, is I think it's important for us to at least give some numbers on this if we're going to uh, argue that these uh, Asian Americans are being victimized mostly by, by black people or almost always by black people. We must, there must be some sort of numbers that, you've, that, you are, that you're relying on in order for you to make that assertion. Yeah, you would think so, but here's, here's, here's what we're relying on. Mm -hmm. We rely on the news accounts and the videos every day. And when we, and I, so that's what I do. You know, in my, my videos and in my podcasts and books and articles, we just keep repeating the stories and we keep challenging people to say, listen, if there are white people out there attacking Asian people, please let us know. If you can break the pattern, please let me know, because there is no such thing happening. And so you would think that look, the police are extremely eager to keep track of every transgression, white on black in this country but um, a lot less eager to talk about black violence against Asian people. Colin Flaherty, let's leave it right there. Author of White Girl Bleed a Lot, The Return of Racial Violence to America and How the Media Ignore It. Colin, as always, thank you very much for coming on. I appreciate it. My pleasure.